In the 1930s, an Italian psychologist, Gitamo Canisa, drew an image that I believe answered a question. That question is, is it possible to see something if it's invisible? Hi. Iman? Iman, yes. Iman. Andrew, nice to meet you. And just before we start, I want to say, uh, do you have any idea what we're going to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That means it's going to be a surprise. I brought you here today to ask you a question. Um, the question is this, is it possible, do you think, to see something that's invisible? If it's called invisible, <laughs> why would exactly. you be able to see it? Yeah. Or how would you know it's even there? Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question if you think about it. How is it possible to see something that's invisible? An Italian psychologist uh, named Gaetan uh, Caniza, and he drew a picture, because he was also an artist, and he drew a picture that I think answers this question for us. Can you tell me what shape you see there? A triangle. A triangle? Yeah. I think you just answered his question. Because if you look closely, no. there's no, it's no lines, they're not connected. Yeah. But these three circles produce an image in your mind that's not really there. The, that's right. The triangle is invisible, but yet you can see it. I want you to think of a number. Now this, uh, the number you're going to think of in a second, it has to be a random number. It can't mean anything too specific to you. Uh, you know, make it more than 10 but less than 100. Um, okay. Okay. Have you got one? Yeah. Okay. So there's no way right now that I could know what number you're thinking, right? Yeah. And there's definitely no way that I could know what number you're going to think of before I even asked you the question. Yeah. Don't be so sure. Tell me, do you see your number here? No, I don't. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Look close. It may be invisible. If we take 711, that's 18? Yeah. That's 23. Mm -hmm. 23 and 4 is? Mm. 27. Yeah. Is that the number you're thinking of? Yes. I can tell where you're That's why I'm smiling, yeah. 27. So this is 27. Isn't that strange? If we do it with the second one, 8 and 1 is 9, 9 and 10 is 19, plus 8 is? 27. 27. But there's more, look. You're not impressed yet. No, keep I... going. <laughs> 8, 8 and 10 is 18, plus 3 and 6 and 7 and 4 is also 27. If we take the 4 out of 7 and 7 is 14, plus 4, plus 9 is 27. 27 is actually everywhere, and I think that we answered the question. Yeah, we did. <laughs> there you sure. go.